Hey guys, Mike here from Motomule.com. Today's video is in response to a comment I received on the Hot Wheels video that we posted. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll put a link to it in the comments below. It'll make this video make a little more sense. Fellow YouTuber Wheelie Pete leaves this comment. So, I was watching this again and showing my kids, who were quite enthused about it. Question, how did you make the trigger and launch gate assembly? Looks like there might be some spring action involved. Alright, I'll do my best to dissect that starting gate assembly on the Hot Wheels track. Let's go check it out. Let's just start at the top and work our way down through the construction of this Hot Wheels starting gate. Without the cars in the picture, you're able to see the slots that allow the dowel pins to drop and the cars to take off on their race. Here you're able to see the grooves cut into the board that position the Hot Wheels track, as well as the clearance slots for the dowel pins. This assembly is mounted under the main board that holds the Hot Wheels track. On the left, you can see the holes for the four dowel pins. In the center is a pocket for a spring. And on the right, you see two short piano hinges that allow that board to swing up and down underneath the top board. Gravity alone probably would have been fine, but I added a spring for good measure. A simple pull of the trigger allows that spring-loaded board to fall with an exciting snap, signaling the beginning of the race. I cut the pieces for the starting gun out of some birch plywood on a CNC router. Okay, here are the three major components to the starting gun. We have the two outer halves and the trigger itself. As you can see, the trigger slides inside the pocket created in the two outer halves. These small pockets out at the end are for springs. As it turns out, I only installed one spring. Two springs made the trigger too hard to pull. Put all those pieces together, and you've got something to occupy a kid for an hour or so. Or, okay, maybe 15 minutes. Okay, crystal clear or clear as mud? I hope after seeing this video, the way I constructed that uh, Hot Wheels track makes a little more sense. As any YouTube content creator would tell you, comments are the best way to identify and connect with your audience. So please, keep those comments coming. I'll do my best to respond to as many of them as I can. Be sure to go check out Wheelie Pete's YouTube channel. He does product reviews, has several cool do-it-yourself projects, and he even makes his own alcohol stove that's great for backpacking. Go check it out. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay active and have fun.